Hello and welcome to my beginner's guide video. This video will be covering the basics of looting items and what to do with your currency. So let's begin. To loot items you require currency in game. And this is usually in the form of gold but it can be in the form of lunar coins as well but we'll explain that later on. So gold is obtained by killing mobs and looting small coin capsules found across the map. Also offer blood to a blood shrine. This is in the uh, three stages which is 50%, 75% and 93% of the player's health. But the damage can be blocked if using teddy bears. Coins are spent on chests, large chests, equipment chests, item shops and item roulette totems found across the map. As you advance in the game, all of the above gets more expensive at the later stages. On stage 4 you run, there is a legendary chest which is hidden on the map. It's in the same place every time, so once you found it, you just need to go back there. And it's quite expensive compared to the other chests. It guarantees a 100% drop on a red item, so it's worth getting if you've got the coins. There is also a time chest that can be found in-game if you reach the rally point delta before 10 minutes. This, is all, this also unlocks the redactive achievement. Possible spawns are on top of the hill by the radar tower inside a large container near ground level, inside an open container on top of a stack of containers. Obviously it's, it changes depending on your run. So according to the wiki, chest look rates are as follows. So this is the basic chest. So common items are 79.2%, uncommon items or green items are 19.8% and rare items are to be confirmed, but they've brought down 0.99%. Personally, I don't use the roulette ones unless I have plenty of coins to spend as it sometimes can give you nothing and then coins can be used to level up. If you gain an item called the Rusted Key, you can also open Rusted Chests found out across the map. I believe these chests do have a higher percentage if the person has more keys, increasing the percentage to gain an uncommon green item or a rare item, red item. Just keep your eyes peeled. Item printers, or 3D item printers as some people call them, can be found along the map in common, uncommon and rare, which swap the equivalent items randomly. Now if you've got multiple of one item, let's say a uh, goat tooth, you may want to try and trade in that goat tooth, but it will take a random other white item from yourself. The last type of current set is lunar coins that are obtained by killing enemies and are rare so spend them wisely. They can buy items in the blue portal shop as well as lunar chests which provide lunar items. If there's any other information I have missed in this guide, please let me know. You can find me on the social media links in the description if you want to get in touch. There may be some fail clips with the roulette totems in the background and thank you for watching. See you in the next video.